My name is Raf Hermers. I'm a senior clinical scientist at Okro Indonesia, where I lead the Clinical Infectious Disease Research Program. My uh, work focuses on uh, the prevention, diagnosis and management of infectious diseases that are relevant to Indonesia, mainly tuberculosis, HIV, COVID-19 and antimicrobial resistance. Um, I work very closely with our local partners at Universitas Indonesia and other institutions. Okra Indonesia has been involved in the recovery trial, which is an international effort to find new treatments for COVID-19. Indonesia was one of the first countries outside of the UK to uh, enroll participants into this trial. And recovery has to date been able to identify four effective treatments to uh, save lives of patients with severe COVID-19. So the main advancement of uh, recovery is that it offers a very simple and flexible um, model that is applicable uh, to low and middle income countries to rapidly uh, recruit patients. And that model uh, will be taken forward um, in, in Indonesia to study not only COVID-19, but also uh, influenza and bacterial pneumonias. One of the main challenges of doing research in Indonesia is that we need more expertise. Uh, we need to make more investments in finding people who want to um, dedicate their career to research. We're working with young research talents in Indonesia um, by offering uh, research degree training and mentorship. And we do that by drawing expertise from the wider Oxford Tropical Network. Another challenge of doing research in Indonesia is to make sure that our research findings and any innovations that we discover are indeed translated into policy. Um, and to achieve that, we increasingly work with policymakers to, um, to ensure that we do achieve uh, tangible impacts that make a difference to the, to the lives and well-beings of Indonesians. The World Health Organization recently launched a, a global research agenda for antimicrobial resistance in human health. That agenda aims to accelerate and streamline efforts that are going on to tackle the emerging threat of antimicrobial resistance. Working with the WHO, I've led the process of accumulating uh, existing evidence gaps in areas relevant to antimicrobial resistance. So that ranges from vaccines, antibiotic stewardship, um, health policy. And then we invited global experts, hundreds of them, to advise us on prioritizing those topics that we identified. And we brought down that number of 3,000 to 40 uh, mo of the most pressing, pressing issues. That agenda will uh, also includes topics that are most relevant for low and middle income countries. And for Okra Indonesia, this means that this agenda is extremely useful to guide our priorities in the work we do. For example, we are increasingly focusing on the rational use of antibiotics and, and how we can achieve that in hospitals and communities. In my research program, we focus on infectious diseases that are most relevant for Indonesia, mainly tuberculosis, HIV, COVID-19, and other emerging infections. Um, and we'd like to take uh, system approaches to tackle those challenges, that me which means that we are not only looking at technical innovations, so trying to explore new vaccines, new, new drugs, new diagnostics, but combine this with rigorous implementation research, which means that we investigate how these innovations can indeed be um, implemented in the best possible manner so that they are feasible, uh, that they are acceptable, and that they're indeed used by people. Well, in the future, we hope to, to be able to contribute to uh, really decreasing the burden of, the, of, of huge diseases that are currently a big problem in Indonesia. And I'm mainly thinking of tuberculosis and HIV in certain vulnerable groups. Um, so if in our research we can make both technical innovations and also make sure that we do implementation research that ensures that these innovations are um, effectively implemented, that would be really a great achievement.